What is going on guys, Mike with Chit Chat Gaming, so today we're taking a look at a game that I've been waiting to play for quite some time now, ever since I first saw it announced, and that is Predator Hunting Grounds. We'll go ahead and go over what the game's kind of all about here, and what my general thoughts are. So let's go ahead and let's jump in. But before we get started, let's go ahead and let's just uh, you know address the elephant in the room here, and that's going to be the queue times on the game itself here. So yes, there is like a little disclaimer at the bottom that does let everybody know that the you know, there is some definite you know, long queue times here. The company knows about it, the developer knows about it, and they are you know, looking into it as well too. I will say that on Friday and like Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, the queue times were horrible. I mean, they were like 20 minutes or so just to get in the game. We actually get into a game, there'd only be like one you know one person on the fire team. That'd be just you and. It was it was crazy, but then as of like Saturday night here, you definitely had a full team. I had no problems. I think the longest I waited was like maybe two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes. But either way, though, there's a full team and everything here, so it looks like that the you know the developers are definitely taking a look at it and addressing the issue here. So I just want to get that out of the way before we jump on in. So Predator Hunting Grounds was developed by Ilphonic, who are developers behind the Friday the 13th game. The game is being published by Sony Interactive. It's being released on PS4 and PC via the Epic Game Store on April 24th for $39.99. Now, if you're like me and you really enjoyed the Friday the 13th game, I think you're really gonna like this game quite some, you know, quite a bit here. Uh, the game is a 1v4 style, um, survivor, survivor style game. You either play as a predator and try to eliminate and kill the fire team, or you play as one of the four members of the fire team. With both predator and fire team having their own set of abilities, weapons, tactics to survive. On this trial, you'll be playing on one of the game's multiplayer maps called Overgrowth, which is like a jungle-style map here. As a member of the fire team, there's two ways to win. First, you can team up and take down the predator. Doing it by yourself probably isn't the greatest idea, unless the predator player you're you know playing against is really that bad. Or you can complete missions and escaped via the helicopter. When dropping into the map, you'll be given a random mission. Each mission will have smaller objects that need to be completed in order to get to the chopper. There are so many objectives like gathering samples of contaminated water, destroying weapon stores, gathering files, you know, keys, USB drives to upload information, and many many more here while also trying to fight off the predator that is hunting you from above in this demo there are three different fire type classes you got assault you got support and you got scout with three weapon categories you get to pick from shotgun which is amazing by the way assault rifle and sniper as you progress you unlock scopes attachments um, you know different things and parts for your guns etc also as you play as the fire team there are like med kits and ammo boxes around the map as well too and of course you know each firearm member does have a couple of their own abilities that you can choose from and kind of you know go through um, and basically you look at things like grenades and like health stints and stuff as well too now if you're playing as a predator you have three classes as well you have the hunter berserker and scout as a predator you also have abilities and perks to take down the fire team including a plasma caster which is really cool uh, you know wrist blades you know, infrared vision and many many more if the fire team actually manages to take you down you go into self-destruct mode and they have a certain amount of time to escape the area before being killed so if you're the predator and you do get downed you do have one more chance which I actually did get killed from so you do have one more chance to basically take down the team as well if unless they can get out of the area on time here um, both predator and fire team have plenty of upgrades uh, you know character and weapon skins as well too you know accessories etc these can be purchased with you know in-game currency as you level up or by unlocking them with in-game like loot boxes called field lockers which i'm sure you can probably purchase you know with actual real money as well too but you can definitely use your in-game you know uh, currency as well too which builds up rather quickly because i did unlock quite a few of these field lockers so you know all in all guys that's kind of like the the gist of the whole game here um, again, it's more of like a 1v4 you know, survival style game. I liked it a lot. I love games like Dead by Daylight. I mean, you know, I did, of course, I did like the Friday the 13th game. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Evolve as well, too, where, you know, basically you're one monster. 
you know, you're just trying to kill the four, you know, the four fire team members or the survivors, like in other games here. But I did have a lot of fun. The gameplay itself was actually really well. I did see a little bit of stuttering, of course, and like a little bit of a, you know, slowdown and whatnot. But of course, you're gonna have that. Once again, this is just a trial. The actual game comes out in April. But, you know, the biggest thing I have to say is that the load times or the queue times were crazy at first, but they definitely tried to figure those out and kind of got them sorted, you can definitely tell. And after they got that, the game was just fun. Getting into a game right away with an actual team of four was was incredible and made the game a lot of fun here because when you're one player by yourself or even with two players, it's hard to get the predator down because, you know, with doing the objectives and stuff, somebody has to, you know, basically pay attention to the predator or kind of throw him off uh, you know distract him while you go and do these little objectives and such as well too because once you get done with the objectives as mentioned you can either you know destroy and kill the predator or you basically can you know escape to the chopper and get out off the island here off the jungle itself so guys that's just a quick look at predator hunting grounds the trial is available you know over the weekend here friday saturday and sunday I believe it's available t till tonight, Sunday until midnight, from what I saw anyways. But the game itself, once again, does come out on April 24th for $39.99, you know, via the PS4, PC, through the Epic Game Store, which a lot of people are upset about, but it's okay. It, it, it works out well. Uh, but through the Epic Game Store, um, no, probably no chance of coming on Xbox since this game is published by Sony Interactive. So, guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you have any questions, what you guys think of the game itself here. Are you going to be picking it up? Make sure you like the video here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification to keep up with all things as Chit Chat Gaming. And once again, guys, this has been Mike with Chit Chat Gaming saying, Happy Gaming. And just a couple things I actually forgot to mention. Um, one, this is a multiplayer only 1v4. Doesn't look like there's any chance of getting a single player mode unless they decide to do you know what they kind of did with Friday the 13th and give it some kind of a story or a single player mode later on here. And also, yes, there is you know firearm teams, um, fire teams that go against you if you are on the fire team. They try to stop you as well too. And then if, even if you're the predator, you do have to fight through this army of people as well too. So it can be distracting in a way. So if you saw me killing other people other than the, pr the predator itself, that's what that was, is other people trying to stop me. So that's all I want to say, guys. Thank you once again.